Yamunacharya also known as Alavanda and Periyamudalia was a Vishistadvaita philosopher in Srirangam, Tamil Nadu, India. Ramanuja, one of the leaders of the Sri Vishnava school sought to be his disciple. He was born in early 10th century CE and was the grandson of a Brahmin, Nathamuni. Nathamuni was a famed yogi who collected to the works of Tamil Alvars. Alavanda's birth star was Uttiradam. Early life He grew up learning Vedic texts from Rama Misra also known as Manakal Nambi and was skilled in Mimansa. Srivishnavite legend relates this history. As a teenager he challenged the royal priest Akiyalvan of the Pandya king the name of the king is disputed. Akiyalvan, when he saw the age of the youth, asked sarcastically, Alavandara? Meaning, has he come to rule me? He defeated Akiyalvan by proving through the accepted rules of logic that Akiyalvan's mother was barren, the king was not righteous and the queen unchaste. The king and queen, impressed that the boy has understood the shortcomings of logic, adopted him. The queen hailed the boy as Alavanda, the savior. In other versions of the legend, he is given half the kingdom. There is no historical record to show his reign, so it is possible that this happened in a smaller village rather than the kingdom of Pandya. After years of rule, Manakal Nambi tricked him into visiting the temple of Ranganatha. There, he had an epiphany and gave up the material duties of a king and became a sannyasin embracing Saranagati. He composed the Chatushloki and Strotra Ratna at that spot. Manakal Nambi handed over the reins of Nathamuni's school including the collected Devya Prabhunda and renamed him Yamuna Muni or Yamunacharya. After the demise of Alavanda, Srirangam was led by the latter's son Tiruvarangan, however the place lacked the divine touch. According to a legend, Lord Ranganatha himself instructed Mahapurna to go to Kanchi and invite Ramanuja to Srirangam. The names of Parashara and Veda Vyasa, should be commemorated on the earth by giving it to a person worthy to bear it. Compose a commentary on Tiruvamoji of Namulva, the most prolific of Alvars. Compose a commentary on Upanishads, Vedanta Sutras and Bhagavad Gita. Topic. Works Alavanda, like Ramanuja, focused both on philosophical debates like Dvaita vs Advaita and Bhakti prayers and the works attributed to him are in Sanskrit although he codified the heritage of the Tamil Alvars. Works attributed to him are Chathusloki, a popular prayer in praise of Lakshmi Stotraritnam, a prayer in praise of Narayana Siddhitrayam, consisting of I Atmasiddhi I.I. Samvitsiddhi and I.I.I. Iswaajiddhi which describe the Vishistadvaita school of thought, describing a relation between the soul, God and the universe. Agama Pramanya, stating the authority of Pancharatra Agama. Maha Purusha Nirnayam, describing that the ultimate reality is the god-goddess Pesra and Narayana. Gatatha Sangraha, a commentary on the Bhagavad Gita. Nityam Mayavada Kandanam, 